Hello, we're going to look at lesson 17, the unit rate as the scale factor. Starting with an example here, we have Jake's icon. So Jake created a simple game on his computer and he shared it with his friends to play. They were instantly hooked and the popularity of his game spread so quickly that Jake wanted to create a distinctive icon so that players could easily identify his game. He drew a simple sketch and from the sketch he created stickers to promote his game. But Jake wasn't quite sure if the stickers were proportional to the original sketch. So in order to determine if the stickers are proportional to the original sketch, we are just going to first um, record our matching parts. Corresponding is the correct math term. So the original would be one and the two is there all in inches. Two is on the sticker. Okay, now we'll look at this piece. It's one to two. What else do we have? 0 0.75 to 1.5. And finally, 7 eighths to 1 and 3 fourths. Now, as we've been doing for quite some time now, in order to determine if this is proportional, we need to see what's happening here. What is the structure? What is the factor that we are multiplying each of these x terms by to get the y? So the way we do that is through division. We're dividing y divided by x to determine um, what the scale factor is. And then we're going to see if that's constant, which will tell us if it's proportional or not. In this situation, I'm going to do the sticker divided by the original. And when we're dealing with um, scale factors and trying to find the scale factor, this is what we will do. We will do the new over the original, or some people may say the scale over the original. In this situation, I just went ahead and and stuck with a sticker over the original. Um, but new over original might be something good to, to keep in mind. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just do this division. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 1 and a half divided by uh, 75 hundredths is 2. 1 and 3 fourths divided by 7 eighths. I'm really not sure. So I'm going to do that on the calculator. 1 and 3 fourths, oops, 3 fourths divided by 7 eighths, and that is 2 as well. So we have a constant unit rate, which means that this is, yes, this is proportional. We could even write an equation for this, which we've been doing all along. Y equals, there's my K, 2X. Or I could do um, sticker equals 2 times the original. That looks really confusing because this could be a 5, that could be a 0. I would stick with Y equals 2X on this one. Moving on to the next page. Okay, so on the next page we do have these um, steps. I don't particularly um, think this is necessary, but you're welcome to pause the video and record these down, these steps. The steps to check for proportionality for scale drawings and original object or picture is to record the lengths of the scale drawing record the lengths of the original, and then check for the constant of proportionality. And that's exactly what we did here um, in a very organized fashion. So the next thing, this key idea here, the scale factor um, can be calculated from the ratio of any length in the scale drawing to its corresponding length in the actual picture. And we talked about that a moment ago, the scale over the original, and that's going to give me the scale factor. Not sure I said that word. So, um, if you scale by a factor greater than one, it enlarges it, and less than one, a scale factor less than one, would reduce it. So, here we have um, an app icon that would also be used 
with the situation we started with. So I'm going to take my original measurements um, from here. Let's see. I would have the one inch goes with the half an inch on the icon, and then seven eighths of an inch goes with seven sixteenths. Okay. Um, we could write that as a fraction too, and just do three fourths and three eighths. I think that, yeah, these are already recorded. So now we're looking for the scale factor. And we're going to get that by doing the icon divided by the original lengths of these segments. And, um, no, sorry. Um, we could also think of this as the scale and the original or the new and the original to get our scale factor. Okay, so I'm going to do one half divided by one. I am going to do this on the calculator just to kind of prove it. A lot of times we don't believe this is um, what it is. Seven sixteenths, whoops, divided by seven eighths. Now this arrow here means to simplify on this particular calculator going to continue to simplify till that's no longer there. And that's also one half. Three eighths divided by three fourths. Okay. And again, simplify till that is no longer an option. And we get one half. So I do have a constant um, unit rate, which in this case is my scale factor. So my scale factor is one half. In, whoops, in other words, um, the app icon is half the size of the original sketch. So, um, if I wanted to create an equation that could help me determine the um, length of a segment of the app icon, I could do y equals one half x. Not necessary, but I always like to throw that out when I'm dealing with proportional relationships. So again, our scale factor is one half. We found that by doing the scale divided by the original, organizing our information on a table. The original did come from here, uh, which was the previous page. Moving on to the next page. Now, this actually um, tells us to use a scale factor of three to create a scale drawing of the picture below. So what you're going to do if you're creating a scale factor of three, you're going to make it three times as large. Um, you would actually really need to measure this to do that. Um, and then you would make it three times as big. So I'm just going to show you a finished product for that. Since the scale factor here is um, one half, this finished product will be um, smaller than the original. This will be larger, this will be smaller. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sketch it. Oh, I'm a horrible drawer, horrible, horrible. Ignore that line. And then this one, I just wanna show it's smaller. Now I'm gonna pull up a good from the answer key to show you what it should look like. This is a very rough sketch from a very poor artist. As I pull this out, I'm feeling a little guilty because I'm constantly telling my students the only way we get better at math is to practice it. And I guess the only way I can get better at drawing is to practice it. And maybe I'll do that sometime. All right, so it looks like um, here they've used this and they said, oh, if that was one and a half inches, then I would multiply by three to get four and a half inches for this length. And they've done that for each piece. But you can see this is three times as large as this because the scale factor is three. And for the other one, they have a yeah, scale, scale factor of one half. So the, the new one is actually smaller than the original. Um, and they have their measurements here as well. So, time to go. Here's another example. Um, 
I'll let you pause the video and, and read that um, for yourself. And I'm just going to jump right into working it out. I have found it very beneficial to start with a sketch to kind of get the, the math out of the words. Um, that helps me. Then I went ahead and did um, the original times the scale factor to get the length of the um, of the, the picture that was taken with the cell phone. Now one sixth of a foot did not mean a whole lot to me so I went ahead and converted that so that I had 12 as my denominator because I know there are 12 inches in a foot and then this two would mean um, two inches out of 12 inches. So that meant a lot more to me than the one sixth of a foot. These are equal. Note that you do have to have the units there. Um, so for the size of the portrait on your phone, you could say two inch by two inch, or you could say one sixth of a foot by one sixth of a foot. Now, wow, that the original was three foot by three foot. That's a pretty enormous portrait. So um, if you wanted to share that, you would need to take a picture of it. You wouldn't want to carry around this three foot by three foot um, picture. So pretty good question. Now look at John, and um, I'll pause this, give you time to read that. Okay, I went ahead and drew the circular window, and I have the five feet here for the diameter, which is all the way across the circle through the center. Again, my drawing, not perfect, but we get the idea. So then I did the original length times the scale factor, which came out to five thirtieths or one sixth of a foot. From the work I just did, I know that one sixth is two twelfths, which would be two inches out of twelve inches. Whoops. Okay, so if I was going to do a circle with a two, huh, <laughs> this is not drawn to scale. Okay, so here's two inches that were my diameter. Wow, I really. We're going to pretend, oh well, that is not a good circle, but we're going to pretend it is. So, um, moving on. Let's see, are we ready? Yeah, problem set is next. So, thank you for watching, and we'll do the problem set in just a moment.